Excellent. Okay. I think we're almost good. Ah, fucker. Okay, let's get this over here. Hopefully you can hear me. Uh, let me know in chat if you can hear me okay, and hopefully the game's coming through a little bit. I don't know if it actually plays audio while it's in the background, but let me try to turn this up a little bit. Yeah, there it is. A little bit of audio. Um, let me know in chat if you can hear me okay. Scooby dooby 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 dee boo. I'm streaming for you. Do 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 do. Boo. Ah. Okay, what do I got to do here? I got to go to Twitch and update this stream name because it's very long and it's driving me insane. Going to do it all day and every night. And that's what we do. And that's what we say. Magic the Gathering. I'm surprised there's not a Magic Arena category um, on Twitch. It feels like there should be one. Is that my own voice through somewhere? Where is my voice at? Am I on? Yeah? No? Where is that? I hear myself. I have like eight tabs, 18. I have a lot of tabs open. <laughs> there it is. I, I found it. I found you. Turn that off here real quick. Give me a little bit of time to get everything set up and tweet out, um, and I'll be ready in a bit. But uh, bear with me for a second here, real quick. I got a little bit of administration stuff to do. Bop, bop, shweeby, dee doop, doo doo. That's updated, and so are you. We're gonna play, we're gonna have fun. And that's what we do. Let's go today. Bop, bop, shim, boop, 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 boop. Again, I'll be in giantbomb.com slash chat. Uh, let me tweet about this real quick. And, whew, warm today. I've had Red Bull. I've had Red Bull. And some vodka. Sorry for the typing. It will get better after a second. I also need to put a, a mat under this mic because it does pick up a lot of desk audio bumping. I'll do that in a second before we get started here. We are less than $500 uh, away from our total. Let me find my own stream as well here real quick uh, so I can actually I have raised $20 already. Hey. Oh, it's from Dad. Oh, that's really great. I should probably put this on my Facebook, too. Thanks, Dad. Um, okay, what else do I need to do? I really, we've been switching streams so much uh, the last few weeks working from home that I we have this whole checklist of stuff I need to do every time we switch streams. And it's very complicated. Like, update the uh, banner here in chat. Update the Twitch category. Theoretically, I should update the homepage promo, but I, I, there's not going to be that many people watching, so maybe I'm not worried too much about that. Um, pardon for the administrative stuff, but I always wind up hitting start stream and then forgetting that I uh, need to do all this stuff, so... Oh, I put on the wrong. Oh boy, I put on the wrong thing in my tilt five page. But uh, whatever, it's uh, people are gonna know what it is. Where we're we at. Hopefully this GIF works out too. Oh, you have to hit play on it. That's lame. 
That's not working at all. No, it is. Okay, good. That's it's uh, didn't quite work very well, but okay, everybody. I think we're mostly set up here. Let me get back in the chat room over here. We've got uh, we've got stuff going on today. I'm gonna play some magic. Gonna go all the way. Gonna have some fun. Gonna sing my song. Let's do it all day long. Bop bop bop. So I uh, I'm gonna be playing some magic here real quick. Uh, let me actually edit this banner to put in my own I don't think this actually works yep that fucking sucks sorry sorry everybody this is probably a little boring but got a lot of stuff to do before this it's a very finely polished machine over here uh, I'm adding my own donation page to the bottom of this banner. If you feel like tilting, t giving me money, feel free to do so. Um, it's all going to a good cause. Uh, if you'd like to give to anybody else on our team, there's plenty of links under the donate here button. Um, should all work. So I'll be in chat room. I'll be in giantbomb.com slash chat. Probably not the giant bomb Twitch chat. Maybe I'll check in every once in a while to make sure there's nobody doing anything too weird. Um, but yeah, let's, let's get going. Let's play some stuff. I'll be here for about six hours. Um, theoretically. That's what the Red Bull's for. And the vodka helps too. Whew. All right. If you're in chat, uh, feel free to ask me any questions. Use You can type them right in the chat because it's not going uh, too fast here. So I'll, I'll, I'll be looking at chat while I can. All right, let's go and play. Um, this is a new deck that I made today. It's a Yadaro deck, also called Godzilla. Um, Godzilla was added in the new set that came out on Thursday. I haven't played a huge amount with these new cards, but I figured I'd try it. This is from a YouTube video, um, which I should probably link somewhere, but I'll try to figure it out. This deck is not my own creation. It's built by somebody who plays YouTube magic for kind of a, I don't know, living? Is it a living? I wonder how many people make their money playing magic. Like, all their money. Uh, anyway, this is a, a new from Ikoria. This is the built around uh, this card called a Yadaro Wandering Monster Turtle. He's got a turtle with haste. But, of course, uh, one of the big things about this set was that they had a bunch of Godzilla cards uh, in it. Godzilla monsters as skins or, like, uh, card sleeves that you can put over. So it just changes the title a little bit. Uh, vodka wouldn't make me tired. I don't know. We'll f check back in around 3 a.m. And we'll see what's, what's happening. Um, so anyways, the tech I built today, or I didn't build it, I copied from somebody else. It has, uh, there's a lot of cycling cards. So cycling is an ability where you discard the card and you draw a card. So if you have uh, something in your hand you can't use, you cycle it. Uh, and there's a few cards in here that all these cards, these are only cheap cards built on cycling. They do have effects when you cycle other cards when they're down on the board. You basically want to kind of put down some cheap cards early on, uh, use some removal to get rid of uh, their bigger threats. Justice Strike is really good for that. Um, Reptilian Reflection is a big one too. This one is an enchantment. Whenever you cycle a card, this becomes a 5-4 dinosaur with Trample and Haste until the end of the turn. Uh, this seems like it's doing a lot of heavy lifting in this deck. You can have multiple down at the same time. Also, this becomes an enchantment on the opponent's turn, so it'll escape any kind of a, you know, targeted removal if they can't cast an instant spell. Instant speed. Pardon my burps. Instant speed removal, like board sweeps, uh, you know, uh, Wrath of God, that kind of stuff. It will be protected from that. Um, Zenith Flare is a little life gain in the late life gain in the late game, which is uh, whew, fun, fun, fun little thing to say. Um, this deck was appealing to me because I already had uh, a lot of the cards. I didn't have to craft too many. As you can see, I have a lot of wild cards. I have 32 Mythic Rares. I was a little annoyed at, so I opened about 80 packs. And let me show you how many mythics I got from it. Mythic rare, Ikoria. I got three. This came as a part of the pre-bonus thing. I got Vivian at one card of this, but then the, I only got three other mythic rares. Uh, none of them seem super, super awesome. This one's pretty powerful because you can mutate it from your graveyard. Uh, Snapped Axe is really good too as a mutation thing. Double strike, and it does a lot of damage. But, um... Whew. I was hoping for more, more mythics. I, I did not get super luck. But the good thing was that I did get uh, four, a play, whole play set of Yadaro. Um, he's a rare card. So I got four of those, and I was pretty happy with that. I figured I should take a look and try to make a deck around him. I don't know if this deck is going to be very powerful. Probably not, but it is fun to play. 
Uh, Ian in chat says, for people who play a lot of online card games, is there a way for me to play with people who only play trashy joke decks? Uh, not that I know of. You can play against friends. Uh, you can do direct challenge with people online. So if you want to play against friends and, and you know, make sure you're not using top tier. Ooh, I might do a draft in a bit too. Um, but I have a token for a premier draft for this ticket entry, which you get seven other players. Um, maybe I'll play this in a bit. I'm not very good at drafts, uh, so I'll probably make a lot of uh, a lot of mistakes. But we'll figure it out together. There is a format called Brawl. Yeah, Brawl is really fun. If you uh, Brawl is basically a singleton deck where you have uh, a, a commander and then a bunch of. Um, how do I do this real quick? How do I scroll down here? Um, Brawl is basically a singleton deck where you can only have one copy of any card in your in your deck. So. Um, it's a little more random, uh, but it's a little, it's pretty fun. Anyways, let's try and play this deck real quick. I'm, I don't really know how it works. I know you have to cycle some stuff. I'm going to play a quick... If anybody wants to challenge me, by the way, feel free. Let me go and put my copy to clipboard. If you, anyone want to add me and challenge me, feel free. Um, but I'm going to play a quick... I'm going to play this Yadaro deck. Let's see what happens here. I'm probably going to get the floor wiped. There's already some pretty uh, powerful archetypes um, in this set. There's some really, really good cards. Luka... Uh, there's a companion card that can lets you cast any card in your graveyard with uh, converted mana cost of two or less from your graveyard every once a turn, which so far seems like a really hey David Chachanati Chachanati, pretty good opening hand except for the mana. Do I dare now? I'm mulligan. Okay, there we go. That's not bad. And Godzilla Zenith Fair. I don't. I won't be able to cast anyway, so I'll put that in the deck so i'm gonna probably lead with flourishing fox and then i can start cycling stuff and we'll try it out uh not cycle go ahead and put this one down whole thing about cycling though is you have all these cards where you can either cast it or cycle it and it's going to be a l i'm not super awesome at um that's okay i need to put down put down valiant rescuer and try to get that down real quick and go and attack see what happens i can cycle these two cards next turn um and i'll get a little bit of bonus from these things that'll be oh fucking this is blue yeah this is gonna suck i hate control decks so much okay so i'm just gonna cycle something so i can put this one down tapped i can scry hmm sure why not uh I don't think it's going to be super useful to me right now. Let's go and cycle in. So this is Godzilla. You want to cycle him in. The, the big ability here is if you cycle him four times in a game, um, he will be put into play immediately without any kind of... Uh, so three, one, two, two. Try, I'm going to attack with the fox here real quick. Yeah, feel free. Uh, add me to your stuff, and after I get this done, yeah, control control decks in this game are just uh, super. Not my favorite thing to play against. I usually just quit out as soon as you see the first counter spell coming up. This might be a flash deck. Uh, flash has a lot of interesting cards in this set. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of violence. Yeah, there we go. Um, a lot of really interesting kind of. Uh, ooh, there we go. Okay. Oh boy, here we go. Okay, excellent. This is going to be great. So Reptilian Reflection becomes a creature when you cycle a card. I have a card that cycles for one. Actually, I actually have two cards that cycle for one. So I'm going to go and put this one down here and cycle out the... Probably should cycle the fox. And this is going to put pop down this creature as a 5-4 with haste and trample. And I get a Yadaro. That's not bad. Um, should probably just go and attack with everything. Eh, I'll do this and this. They're actually, you know what? I'm going to attack without a chump too. They're going to let that through. No, they're not. Okay. So far, so good. So again, Godzilla, if you cycle it four times in a game, you get him for free. He basically comes into you. And he when you cycle him, he goes back into your deck um, rather than graveyard, as opposed to a lot of other cards here. This is interesting. Okay. This is a flyer deck. I don't think they're going to be able to outpace me, but they will be able to do damage that I can't really block. So, and they have, it's interesting. They didn't attack. I have no mana. 
I uh, don't need more land. Go ahead and cycle both these, I guess. Might as well. And I draw a card. Planes, not bad. Cycle this one again. So this creature is becoming plus one, plus one every time I uh, cycle. This guy's making little one, one creatures. Flourishing Fox, I can cycle again. Huh. I'm going to go and do it. Might as well. Let's fucking swing away. Haha, <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> I guess that did it. Uh, sorry, cycling is uh, an ability where... Let me go back to the deck and explain some of these stuff real quick. I probably did a quick overview. I got some stuff there. Um, cycling is an ability where you pay... If you see here, I don't know how legible this is going to be. Cycling has a cost to it. Whenever you pay that cost, you can put this card into your graveyard and immediately draw another one. Um, so basically, you can cycle through your deck very quickly if you have enough mana to pay for the cycling cost. And there's a lot of uh, triggers on these other cards that um, that will pop in. And uh, let me, whenever I cycle, you saw the cards are getting plus one, plus ones. These guys become a creature. Um, so it's kind of a, let's go and do it. Pending request. I got you there. Clumsy agent. Let's go and play. Let me know if that makes sense. If you have any questions about mechanics, obviously there's a lot of cards at play here. Um, it's hard to explain everything, every little thing, but I'm happy to explain whatever I can. When did Godzilla become magic cannon? Uh, this is these cards are actually not what they the real cards in the game are um you see godzilla has a little title below him called yodoro wandering monster that's his actual name um okay i'm gonna i'm gonna hope that i get this is a really good dag uh, draw but i don't have red mana but i'm gonna hope i get it um actually that, that was probably a bad idea oh that sucks okay put this one down um i really need red mana yeah, this deck is built around cycling. Uh, you're trying to put cards into your graveyard to draw another card. Um, you really want to move fast. And the Godzilla thing of... Oh, fuck. I'm, I'm kind of boned here. I can't cast shit. I can cycle this one. Hopefully I'll get a, a red mana. I did not... Uh, yeah, it's like a skin for a card, basically. Um... Both legal, but that Godzilla is not his actual real name. It's a Yodoro wandering monster. Um, okay, this is this is looking bad. I don't want to trade this. Ugh, I'm I'm kind of manuscript here. I don't think there's much I can do. This sucks. I should have mulliganed. Yeah, they did a. There was a part of a partnership with Toho. Um, uh, obviously, Magic is pretty big in Japan. Um, there are ten of the uh, Godzilla sleeves, which I'll take a look at after this. Uh, we'll take a look at. Um, I'm fucking boned. I can't do anything. I am boned. Since I don't have any red mana, I can't uh, cast anything. This card's really, really good. Luris is a fantastic card. It's uh, really, really, really good. Um, I'm not going to be able to do anything here, so. Luris lets you, ca like I was saying, cast cards from the graveyard. Uh, if they're below, convert a mana cost two or, uh, yeah. This is what happens sometimes. I should probably take a look at my, um, should probably take a look at my mana for this, uh, stuff yeah let's take a look real quick um if you want to take a look at the cards that we have i forget all the names but we can take a look at it. most of them are rare mythic rare ikoria um so you see destroy Dest destroyara um i have all the skins for these because i put uh i paid 50 bucks for i have a couple i have like four rare lands on this but a lot of the, one of the dual lands is um one of the dual lands, a lot of the dual lands are from a set earlier, Gigan Cyberclaw Terror. Um, 
I paused during the match. Yes, I was a mana screwed a clumsy agent. I did not have any red mana at all. I had a handful of stuff that I could not cast. It was my own fault for not mulliganing. Mulliganing. Um, we'll take a look at some of these other cards in a bit. But yeah, there are, uh, I believe, 10. Um, I believe there are 10. I do have a Bio Quartz Space Godzilla. I don't have all these cards, but um, it's fun. It's neat. It's just kind of purely cosmetic. You don't need them to play. Um, yeah, I'll play you again after this, Clumsy. Um, I'm taking a uh, deck right now, but let's uh, please uh, send me another invite, and I'll happy to happy to play with anybody who's up and about at this time of night. I like doing these midnight streams uh, during community endurance run. It's kind of low key, kind of chill. Um, okay, so here we go. So I got Flourishing Fox, Swindler Mare. I'm gonna keep this one for sure. Let's go. Hello. Okay, red, mono red aggro, ag, aggro, um, splendor mare. Ooh, that's not bad. Okay, I'm gonna put down a flourishing fox. This deck is not very quick, is the thing. It needs a lot of setup to start getting down. Um, okay, all right, do it if you want. Oh, 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 fuck. Okay. I'm going to put down this one, I think, for now and try to get that Flourishing Fox down. Justice Strike is very good. Yeah, they did have to rename um, Space Godzilla. Uh, no blocks here. So I put down a mountain. What do I have here? Justice Strike. Splinter Mare. Uh, Justice Strike would be nice against this Steamkin. What can I cast here? When you cycle, I can cycle that. I think I want to do this for now. Maybe I'll get something I can cast. Who knows? Mm. Risk of... If he had... If he had a... Uh, Shock, I would have assumed you'd use it by now. Okay. An ox is really good. I'm going to have to kill that an ox. I'm going to kill the an ox and cycle one. He'll come back as a little 1-1, one -one, but that's fine. Let's cycle this one, too. I haven't seen the Yadaro yet, so that's kind of concerning. Um, he's kind of the win condition in this match. Um, planes don't need it. You meowed at me. Uh, I won't, I'm not going to play Magic all night long. We'll definitely play some other stuff uh, in a bit. Um, but for now. All right, that's a lot of... There's a lot of uh, mana to use. Oh, he's going to have a lot of creatures down. This is probably going to go bad. This is really uh, probably going to go poorly. Um, I've not had any kind of real uh, problems with... Uh, so what do I do now? Hmm. This sucks. This is not really good. How many cards do I have with cycling in my graveyard. I don't know what to do now. Uh, I think I'm going to be dead next turn no matter what. Lifelink. Yeah, I guess that's about the best I can do. Stay alive. Maybe Lifelink to chump block something and get a few health back. Um, yeah, I'm really curious about what this game will look like on mobile too. Oh, I forgot he had... Yeah, this is gonna. Yeah, I'm dead. Pretty sure. Maybe not. Yeah, I don't know how this game would really work on mobile. It seems like it'd be pretty tough. I don't think I'm going to live this turn, but we'll see what happens. Yep. 
bonk, 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 bonk. The kind of decks I like to play with are usually either um, kind of win, kind of either win or lose. There's really not much in the middle of, of that, uh, the way I, the way I do it. Um, kind of you win a lot or you, or you lose very badly. I don't really play the top tier decks. I mean, it's easy enough to find a, a top eight kind of uh, tournament deck and throw that up. Okay, got two. Yeah, all right, not bad. All right, keep that. Yeah, they have added friends list. You can uh, attack, uh, play against your friends and everything like that. It's kind of nice. Burps, excuse me. Okay, getting some cards out here. I'll go and put down Valiant Rescuer as well, which worked pretty well for me in the first game. Uh, let's start cycling. I don't have... Oh, I can cycle that. And then I got some uh, anti-creature stuff coming up here too. Yeah, the people drafting is happening too. Uh, let me... I actually have a token for that. Maybe we'll do that in a bit. I'm very, very bad at drafting. Um, but I do like to, to, to try new things and be a, be a human being in the world. In the society. Lifelink, sure. Another planes, go and attack. So that card I cycled out, Splendor Mare, if you cycle it, you put a lifelink counter on target creature you control. Uh, counters are a new thing in Ikoria. It's basically you can add a trample counter um, and things like that to cards. When you cycle a card, you may pay two. When you do, okay, let's... I can't cycle this card, so I need to cast it, and I'll have enough mana left over for some other stuff afterwards. Um, if he ever puts in a creature down. Mm. Sure. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that was probably a bad draw on his part. Um, I'm not sure what... I, I, he only cast one spell, so it's hard to tell. If anybody wants to try again, I think there's only a couple people on, online. Um, but yeah, if anybody wants to try, feel free. What was I... So what else was I... This is a... You get a free token for a ticket entry to this premier draft. They added human drafting. Uh, previously, it was all against bots. Um, I'm very bad at... at uh, very, very bad at... Uh, draft but maybe the worst comes to worst i'll get some i'll get get uh get a few chances at more uh rares maybe some mythic rares but we'll see I'll keep on playing this yadaro deck i haven't actually gotten yadaro down onto the ground uh in any of these times i've played it uh so far cycling them four times is tough uh it's not impossible this is not a great opening hand but it's doable if i can cast this card then cycle out godzilla maybe get aurelia down i'm gonna keep it i'm gonna keep it no oh, here we fucking go oh here we go um do not do not like these cauldron this is a really unfun deck to play against in my opinion uh it is a Cauldron Familiar can be sacrificed as a chump blocker and then brought back to uh, the table if you have a Witch's Cauldron out. And that is a... It's a powerful deck archetype. It's just not my favorite fucking thing. Uh, it's really slow. Is my problem with it. I'm going to put down the Sabai Thundermane. The good thing about this deck is that if I get a Trample card down, like Reptilian Reflection will be... If I... if I Assuming I'm not Mana Screwed, which I probably am. Um... But yeah, this sacrifice deck is just super frustrating to play against. It continually, and whenever whenever they cast this card, I lose a life and they gain a life, so it's uh, super annoying. Blue Strider is a really good card. Again, a lot of sacrifice in here. I'm fucking mana screwed. I knew it. I can do two damage to any target though, which is not bad. Whenever I cycle. I'm going to go and cycle then, and I can do two damage to this guy. i cycle anything. Ooh, actually, I can put... I'm going to go and cycle this motherfucker real quick. Hopefully I'll get a land. It's one of the good things about cycling is that... Um... Good thing about cycling is that you do go through your deck a little quicker. 
which if you can get a couple... Oh, fuck, I wanted a land. Oh, I, I can't. I have to pay two to do that. Shit, I totally forgot. Oh, well. Mm. What does this motherfucker do? Creature tokens you control have vigilance and lifelink. That's pretty powerful. Okay, finally, a land. Do I have any cycling for one card here? Don't think I do. If I can get another mana out, this guy will be flying, which would be really nice. And that will add some... Uh, Aurelia is really powerful, but I need to get her down first. Should I cycle? I think I need more bodies down. I hope I get a land next turn. Oh, boy. One of the things I was looking at when I was trying to build Dell, that sucks. That's a bad one. At least I have Justice Strike to kill it. And like I said, I just pulled a Justice Strike. That was a good pull. Um, okay, I'm going to take out the Shepherd for sure. Probably going to sacrifice it anyways. And you'll get food tokens. But I had to do something. This is not going to plan. Mm. Yeah, so the um, what I was saying when I was looking for some decks to build this time around, we're at the uh, almost at the time of a uh, set rotation. I think the next Magic Twenty One comes out in a few months, and that'll be when. Uh, Got a lot of cards out. Oh fuck! Come on, man. I need a goddamn land. I'll put down this reflection. Maybe cycle something next turn. I'm I'm kind of manuscript here. I need one more mana for all this stuff to come popping off, but uh, not yet. Aurelia would be really good to put down. I should have cycled there. That was dumb. But I can cycle next turn. This will become a 5-4, and I can attack with it. So, And it will have trample, so trample will get through chump blocking, which is nice. Um, if they sacrifice a Cauldron Familiar to the block, usually they block it, then they sacrifice it, and then no damage goes through. But the tr trample will go through in that case, uh, which is really nice. Uh, but like I was saying, the, the decks of this specific set, you don't want to be crafting too many cards from older sets uh, uh anything from like uh i forget the names of them but uh the older stuff uh, anything be before like magic 20 are all going to rotate out of course i didn't get in fucking anything um i can cycle this for one still justice strike something god i need just fucking i need a land i need a land I just need a land let's cycle a little bit and see what happens Hello? Yes. Uh, Magic 19, I think, is going to rotate out. Uh, I believe that's what we're at right now. Cycle again. I just need to land. That's all I ask for. Come on. Give me a land. Ah, mm. Oh, boy. That's, that's annoying. Yeah, this will be Magic 21. And after, when Magic 21 hits, the uh, Ravnica, War of the Spark, and something else will be uh, out of the thing. Um, you're still going to take damage, even if this goes through, I believe. Come on. 
the death by a thousand bites of Cauldron Familiar really does add up. If I can get a, another card down, if I can get a fucking land, I will. Uh, rotate out means that they leave standard, um, which you can still play with them, but most people play standard. Uh, it's kind of like Hearthstone where they rotate. Uh, that's really big. That's a big, that's a big one. Um, you can still play with older cards, but standard is kind of the default, um, kind of the default, uh, way to play. So all those cards you can't play, you know, standard ranked or anything like that with them. Uh, oh man, this, man, sacrifice decks. I'm just going to go and say good game now. I think when I play Magic, people should let me do what I want to do and uh, not play cards as much as my idea. Uh, I need to pee real quick, Charbon. I'm going to go and accept this, and I'm going to hit play, and I'm going to go pee. I'll be right back. I'm back now. Let's do it. Oh, I don't mind. Um, I, I hate saying things are lame or not, but um, okay, let's see now. I got a bunch of cycling cards. I'm going to keep this one. Uh, sacrifice decks to me are just like, uh, I they get they're a totally legit way to play. Um, just not my favorite thing in the world uh, to play against. They're just really slow, I find. Um, okay, let's cycle this for sure. I'm going to get anything from it, but I got some cards to put down. Um, there is a really, really powerful, I forget who, I might have played it against, uh, yeah, that wolf token that lets people, um, ooh, what's this? Charge counters, ooh, interesting. Okay, put down a, get down a something here. Valiant Rescuer for sure, go and do that, start cycling. Um, I will get a really a down on turn four, which would be nice, she's pretty powerful. Um, Trample Vigilance Flyer, four, five, um... Yeah, oh, here comes the control. Oh, boy. Two, two. Okay. Reptilian reflection. Yes, thank you very much. Okay. Um. Hmm. Sure, why not? I don't think you want to lose your Electromancer. Maybe he does. Okay. All right. Maybe that was a, a bad decision. Oh, crap. Now I know he's got a goddamn something. But you can't... The thing is, you can't counterspell a cycle, which is really interesting. Um, so I'm going to cycle this real quick. Put this guy up as a 5-4 haste. Attack with it. You're going to bounce it. What do you got? Brazen Borrower? Nope. Okay, not bad. Put down Valiant Rescuer. Oh, I should have... Ah, uh, cycling. It would have kept... Ah, uh, it's fucking stupid. Should have put Lifelink on that guy. I still can, technically, but... Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let's try it out. Whatever. It's all grave to me. I should have done this before, obviously. Uh, that was stupid. So it keeps the uh, lifelink um, token on it, even though it's not a creature anymore. 
Um, that's good for me because I can finally cast Aurelia Flying Mentor. Oh shit. Oh fuck, I can't ah oh, I can't cycle. God damn it. Uh okay, well if she can't do anything against her, she'll start hitting pretty hard and I can cycle next turn to get this guy back out. Um and that'd be nice. Hi, meow, meow, meow. I'm a meow, meow kitty cat. I like to meow. You know, the weird thing is, so far I haven't seen... Um, yeah, the token thing in Paper Magic is very tough. Uh, that's a pretty powerful card, but we'll see what happens. Here, I'm going to put this guy down. Scry one. Sure. Cycling. That's good. Sure, why not? I'll cycle this guy. Actually... Put down Valiant Rescuer. How much mana do I have to work with here? Enough. Put this guy down first, and then cycle the other one. And then cycle the other one as well. So a lot of people are saying that this one is... Uh, Plus two, plus zero against Trample if it's red and Vigilance if it's white. Um, that'd be a big lifelink Trample Haste. Trample Vigilance. It's already, it doesn't need Vigilance. I'm going to put that up here. I'm going to attack with these guys. Oh, he's going to kill it. Oh, that sucks. Oh, he definitely should. Um, yeah, the counter, This a lot of people are saying this uh, set is a little bit more, definitely one of the first sets they've made that is way easier to play digitally than um, than anything else. Five four. Hmm. Interesting. I'll put the bone crusher first. What does this guy do? I don't have many things to do here. There's one card that has like seven different effects that can be done randomly. Um and it just seems like you have to pick one at random whenever you do something, and it seems like just a, a nightmare to figure out which of the the abilities it's going to gain. Crackling Drake, that's not bad. I can beat that and put this down. I'm going to lava coil this. Just try to hit. Just try to hit. Put this guy down, too. Probably shouldn't do that after, but... Whatever. Again, I'm in giantpalm.com slash chat. Uh, if you'd like to ask me any questions, uh, feel free to do so. What is this guy? So he has this companion stuff is another new mechanic they have. Uh, you basically put these cards into your sideboard and can play them from outside the game once a game. Um, if the companion, each Nalnan card in your starting deck has a different name. So it's basically kind of a singleton thing. This has already been banned in Brawl because um, it's basically a free a free card there. Uh, it The effect here isn't as powerful as I would probably want to see on a... Um, can't cycle that, but I can at least attack... Plus two, plus zero. Gain okay, trample vigilance to. Hmm. Well, this is a lot of cards I have in hand as a uh, as a blue player. They probably have some something good up their sleeve. Maybe a bounce. Um, on some, yeah, I figured. I figured. And here we go. There's Lutri. She's going to uh, uh, double the... Can bounce something else as well, probably. Okay. The only thing is I can do a Justice Strike now, which I might as well do for Lutri. Um, but that doesn't really matter because this only happens when it's cast. So this effect is not very powerful anymore. Okay, well, I can cast this again. I mean, that's what I'll do. I have a lot of mana. 
put this back down and put this one back down. So all these bounces are just going to come right back down. Save a little damage on their part. Um, I don't know if I care about bouncing or killing Lutri because this doesn't have an effect. Once it's in the, it, it's on the land, on the planet, it's only three, two. There's nothing else in here that would really matter so much. So we'll leave that for now and see what happens. I don't know why Lutri went back into this zone. I don't think they can cast it more than once a game. Hope everybody's having a good Saturday night. Uh, we are... What are we at now? We're still about 500 bucks away from our goal of $20,000 if you do have a chance. Oh, no. What did you do to me? What is Perforos's intervention here? I'm assuming it's, yep, twice X damage. Okay, that's not good. I'm gonna start dinging me for some uh, stuff here too. Meow, meow, meow. meow, meow, meow. She's sleepy again. This cat's been sleeping all day. Um, and then got up around uh, 11 o'clock and wanted to play a bunch. Fuck. All right, well. I guess I can take a Lutri. Um, not really going to do much else to anything else here, and I don't want to waste it on counters, but... Um, all right, we'll see how this plays out. Yeah, the counter system is really uh, neat. Um, I like it a lot. I, I don't play paper magic anymore, so um, I don't really mind the cruft there. It uh, Arena is just a, such a great client for playing magic. I, I can't see myself going back to it. It's just having to go having to go out in public and talk to people. No, not the way I want to do it. I need a card recycling for sure. He's got a lot of goddamn... I should have killed this thing earlier. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's a powerful card. Perfect. Well done. This is a new card cycle. Uh, the Mythos in various colors. Uh, they can also be cast triple color to do more stuff, but they are still pretty powerful. Even if you cast them as the way they are. This is going to hurt. But I do have nothing. I got nothing. Okay. Well, uh, unless I cast them, unless I get something big soon, this is going to be a bad, a bad time. Yeah, I have nothing against Paper Magic. I played Paper Magic for a very long time. It's a super fun game. Uh, I, I joke a little bit about, uh, yeah, just attack with all of those. Um, it's uh, super, super fun. I played a bunch in high school. Not so much since then. That was about 97. I stopped playing Paper Magic. Um, oh, fuck. Zenith Flare. Well, how many cards do I have in my 12? All right, well, at the least I can take this thing out, I think. Unless you counter it. Okay, gained a little life back. Um, Justice Strike won't do anything, so I have to end my turn. Yeah, it's always fun when a new set comes out. It's a lot of uh, a lot of new tech out there. I've been reading up on some of these. Uh, oh boy! Wow, Adapt Four. That's a lot. Man, that's going to be a big flyer. Uh, Adapt is where you pay this uh, fee, and you can. Um, yeah, he's already going to... This is going to be a 5-5 five, five flyer in a second, but uh, it's not going to matter because I'm going to justice strike it anyways. 
Might as well. Uh, you pay the adapt fee and you get uh, counters, a plus one, plus one counters. Um, it's a neat little effect. And that was a very, oh, come on. Okay, well, this sucks. I think the mana, uh, the mana base for this deck, I might have put too many lands in. I'll go take a look in a bit. I might need to put in some Fabled Passages and uh, go down on some of the basic lands and try to get through that way. Um, oh, fuck, you're right. It's, ah, fuck, I, yep, that does attack anything. Um, you're right, I totally missed out on that one. That was stupid. I should have casted it to her. I'm not very good at magic. I like playing it, but... Definitely have some weak spots in my uh, in my skill level. This is a big ass. Oh, five damage any target. Okay, that's uh, whew. boy, that's a lot. A couple more turns of this, I think I'll be dead. Uh, Cycle Tribal, I wouldn't say that. This is a, a Yadaro, and I haven't pulled any Yadaros at all, or you know, this is just silly. I don't think this deck is super great. It's going to be fun to play. Uh, the good thing about Yadaro is that you can actually hard cast them. If I pulled one next turn, it would be an 8-8 eight, eight Trample Haste, which would be great, but I have a feeling there's enough tricks in this hand over here that I would probably not, it probably wouldn't even be able to attack. Probably get bounced right away. Is that a flyer? Yeah, wow. Okay. X. I think this might be enough to hurt her. Let's see. Ah, oh, did it. Okay, good. <laughs> nice. That was a good draw right at the end there. Uh, that was really... I totally missed that on the first one. I could have probably cast that one again, but that is a very powerful card for the amount of shit that was in my graveyard. I'm going to get a beer real quick and accept this fight and go one more. Do anything, baby? Huh? Okay, Bobo. Ooh, this is an interesting opening hand. Okay, let's see what we got here. Thank you, 250. Appreciate the compliment. Uh, I will definitely get onto, it's what, it's been like an hour now. We'll definitely get a, this, this is a pretty good opening hand. Justice Strike is always really good, and I have enough mana to get this shit down, so let's do it. I think I'm going to take out these Savai Thundermanes. Um, I need to do some adjustments to this deck for sure. Look. Okay, I'm gonna put down the Sacred Foundry first. Interest tapped. Yeah, the extra two cost is a bit expensive. It's not my favorite thing in the world. Uh, let's see what we've got here. Okay, so let's start with a Valiant Rescuer. The thing about um, the Savai Thundermane is that it doesn't actually cycle itself, which would be, if it cycled for two, it'd be a much better card. Um, Haste, 2-2, two, two, okay. Let's go and cycle something real quick. Probably Godzilla. See if I can pull another land or something. Nope. Oh, that's the reflection's really good though. Um, I need to have cycling. I need to keep the cycle here for reptilian reflection. Hopefully next turn. Keep that. 
out and do that next turn. We'll see what happens. I got nothing for you, Bella. I'm sorry. I didn't go to get food. Did you write this rec book? Yeah, my dog's staring at me. <laughs> Might as well use these as chump lockers. That's what they're there for. I'll get another one next turn. That's weird. Um, no cast there. You'd think that that's what they would do. I think I need more red down. Reflection, can I, oh shit, can this be cycled for one? Okay, good, so reflection. I'm drinking a Bud Light. It's fantastic. I've got a couple of these. Got some good, got some vodka. A little bit later. Don't want to get too trashy, I am on the, um, that's good. Another reflection too. Go and attack with these guys. Let's see what happens. I bet what I bet is that they probably have a. There are two board wipe spells at four mana for white and red. So maybe that's what they'll be doing here. No, ooh, Hactos is really interesting. This is uh, Achilles. Basically, he has uh, protection from converted mana cost other than two. So he this one would kill him though. Um, so you can't kill. You can't actually attack this guy with anything other than. Um, oh, that sucks. But I can also justice strike him as well. He has to attack every combat, if able. But this guy would kill him anyway. Um, put down a planes. I need a cycle card, but I can put down these stuffs. Let me put down our reptilian reflection and save my mana for a justice strike, just in case they get rid of valiant reflection, valiant rescuer, because valiant rescuer will be able to kill this guy. Um, if he do, he has an attack, um, so he has uh, two, and if that doesn't work, uh, I should be able to kill him with the justice strike. But we'll hopefully we'll pull a cycling card next turn, and we'll be able to attack with two five fours. A lot of hope, a lot of hopes and dreams here. Maybe I should just yeah. You have to attack with that guy. You want to attack with that guy. Oh, Red Nate. Daughter was born yesterday, so glad to have the stream while she's up. Congratulations. Uh, I'm sure... Is that your first baby? Shit. Plus one double strike and trample. Ah, fuck. Well, oh shit. What the? F oh, he did it to the other guy. Okay, well, huh? That was interesting. Scry one. This this is not good. This is not good at all. Lava coil. Good. Okay, let's do that. Um, this down, I guess. Double strike and trample. This is gonna hurt me a lot. Uh, oh boy. Embercleave is really good. Embercleave is a card that can be cast uh, by, with Flash. Uh, for the most part, it will... Okay, so he's Double Strike and Trample. I can't really do much this turn. I need to get down this Lava Strike. Uh, oh, fuck me. Well, I we can't really block it, so I'm going to take six damage here. I tried Runeterra and just like, oh, fuck me. This is going to hurt. I don't even know what God's Willing does. Okay, well, gonna get in protection from red, I'm sure, or white. I'm gonna take eight damage here. Ow. A lava coil, that motherfucker. We'll see what happens if he can do any kind of pump. Oh, you piece of shit. Okay, well. God's willing adds protection to a. Uh, a card so that did nothing and i've got nothing to do and i'm gonna lose next turn we'll try another uh game of this real quick and if anybody else wants to challenge me feel free not so good uh win loss record on this one uh 
Uh, Rune Terra, I believe it does have a practice mode. It's just the amount of um, new stuff in there is really tough to keep up with. Uh, I don't know. I've never played uh, League of Legends, so it's been very, it's not a familiar world to me. So trying to figure it all out has been, uh... yeah, oh, that's done. Yeah, I haven't had uh, the weird thing is like mutate. Um, well, maybe I'll play a mutate deck next turn. Uh, no, fuck, I need to get, I need to do better about mutate. That mutate deck is not very good. Um, there's some really interesting mutate. I haven't seen any mutate decks though. Uh, mutate is the other big uh, kind of effect that people have. Uh, somebody else challenged me. If anybody wants to, let me do clumsy again. Let's try this mutate thing. I haven't seen any decks playing mutate yet. Mutate is a big new mechanic for this uh, this set. It's, um, let's try it, see what happens. So, um, gosh, mutate is, I'll try to explain as we go along. Basically mutate allows you, it's kind of like a more ramped up version of creature enchantments, except you can add creatures to other creatures, um, on top of them or under them. And they all get the abilities of every creature on the stack. Um, the whole point of this deck is to try to get some death touch creatures down early um ooh, that's interesting um you try to this one it needs to be cycled out and then i hopefully will be able to uh rise from the grave it later on um i'm gonna go and do this real quick and try to scry and see what happens why would you pay two life for that that's very curious I don't think I need to yet, um, but let me go and put this one down here. So Space Godzilla is Death Touch 8-8, eight, eight, um, and it adds a cycle Death Touch counter to target creature. Ooh, I do need that. So the idea is to use Unbreakable Bond to get something out of your um, out of your graveyard. Uh, um, yeah, that was a weird pay two life for an opt, but. You do you. Five, four. Can't attack unless the defending player has seven or more cards in their graveyard. Um, I can play Arboreal Grazer. Put down a Swamp. Grazer. Swamp. Can't cycle anything yet. Uh, put down Vampire. Cycle this next turn, maybe, and then if if all goes well, I'll have a. If I get a couple more lands, I'll get this guy down on turn five, which would be pretty tough to beat. We will see. Of course, it has a you know, um, get through counter spells and everything like that. Okay, I need more lands. This is not going to work too well. I'm going to cast this and draw a card and see what pops up. Fable Passage, not bad. Go on and use that. Activate ability. I could probably use a green card. No, I need a mountain. Can't really do much with it right now, but... Attack with this, I guess. Can't block unless you have four or more cards in hand, but Death Touch is kind of a a big thing. Yeah, WoW is great, or any MMO is great for this stay-at-home period. I was thinking about getting back into the Old Republic because I saw they have a double XP mode going on right now. Um, and I, I never got to the end of that game. I know you have some really fun... Okay. Hmm. Okay, well... Hmm. So what I need to do here is cycle this out for three. I guess I can only play this. I'm going to pay two life for this real quick. Cycle out this, cycle out that. And see what happens. Um, 
Death Touch. <laughs> oh, that was stupid. Oh, fuck. I did that in the wrong order. Death Touch is really dumb. It can't. This won't actually deal damage, so it won't do anything. Um, but I can put this down. I don't really need to yet. I'm going to go and cycle this one, too, and see what happens. So next turn, I will be able to get, uh, theoretically, Space Godzilla out. Um, let's see what happens, though. I'm assuming there's a counter spell in here, but I'm going to go ahead and do this anyways. I hate counter spells. Nope, got it. Good. Um, Barrier of Bones. Uh, hello. Hello. So this has Death Hush already and Lifelink. That's really good. Um, I can't attack with it yet. I'm assuming there's a bounce coming too. That would be devastating, but Pitiless Gorgon, I don't really need that right now. Graveyard? Sure, why not? Ah, death touch. No, I need better stuff. Yeah, WoW is really fun. Well, WoW is in a weird place right now. Um, uh, I think Battle for Azeroth was really, really bad. Uh, Hmm. I'm curious about mutating something here. This has Defender. Death Touch Reach. Target permanent card. What do I have in here? Fabled Passage. No, Vampire Unbreakable Bond, baby. Let's try this out and see. I'm going to mutate. So a mutation is... Uh, I'm going to mutate onto the Arboreal Grazer. I'm going to put this one on top, which means it'll be 4-4 four, four, um, with... Uh, it basically is combining the two cards into one. Um, I've not messed around with the companions much yet. I haven't done a huge amount of tech or building anything. I'm going to put this one on top over. So these two cards become one card, basically. Um, come on. Oh, shit. That's not... A, oh, fuck. That's not a permanent, is it? Hmm. Hmm. Death Touch is a more important thing, but Lifelink is nice too. I'll pull this one out and see if it might be a uh, mutate. Um, hmm. Can't buy the will block, probably the Boneyard. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, I would do the boneyard probably myself, but what tricks do you have up your sleeve, sir? There's no trample on this guy, so it's just going to kill that thing. But um, put down the knight. The only thing here to worry about is uh, I'm going to hold back on this one because they might have a board wipe. Yeah, uh, Battle for Azoth was really disappointing to me. I d did not like it pretty much at all. Um Hopefully the new one is better. If they can't put down a creature, they're pretty much dead here. I'm doing a lot of ops here. I don't know if they're going to be able to put down a creature. And they've already used up enough um, mana. Yeah, okay, so there's. I think it's a good game here. Ah, that worked well. Um, so yeah, the whole point of this deck is to kind of... I don't have as many uh, big cycling cards. Having that opening hand um, mecha Space Godzilla is really powerful. Um, 
Let's pop out into something else for a bit. We've been doing this for about an hour. I'm going to try playing another game for a bit. Uh, let's see what I got here. I had some other stuff in mind that I wanted to play. I might play a little Shadow Tactics because I really do like that game a lot. I'm going to have to stop the stream for a second and bring it right back up because it's going to be a different resolution. Going to do it. And a push. Okay, closing this down. I'll be right back with another game. Do, do, do.